as you are aware, 5.6 million healthcare personnel in the U.S. are at risk of life-threatening diseases via needle stick injuries and other sharps injuries. Uh, all healthcare facilities must be in compliance with the bloodborne pathogen standard to help protect their personnel which are at risk of harm from these uh, accidental needle stick injuries. I, uh, when I was um, a nursing student in my first job as a nurse extern, on my very first day uh, I was following a nurse around and she was starting an IV and I was watching and she was putting an IV in a patient that was had a high fever, confused, and she put was putting it in and he grabbed everything from her and stuck me and said, how do you like that? My very first day. <laughs> working in the hospital. ICIPS, the International Sharps Injury Prevention Society, has joined with Safe and Common in its campaign to, mo to promote and strengthen the Needle Stick Safety and Prevention Act. We're trying to raise awareness of needle stick safety and other Sharps Injury Prevention. Um, I think people are always in a hurry and we're forced to do more and more with less people and less time, so I think there's a lot of um, the hurry up attitude and just try to get the job done and not worry about what could happen. I think the more safety devices that we can have, um, the more, the more well received that product is with the staff. If they perceive themselves as being much safer with it, they still have the element of, of caution with it. But you know, if they if we can decrease their exposures, then that's definitely um, a good thing. Healthcare is more the healthcare providers are more likely to use this. You know, even though we're doing safe things, we need to make it safer. We need to keep doing it. Be vigilant. Support safe and common. <laughs> I support safe and common. Preventing needle sticks, one of the most important things you can do. Stay safe, don't get stuck.